Okay. Now I'm on. I wasn't I was just talking away and wasn't even on. Um I'm going to um again show you the Watkins things first. These are the Watkins things. I'm selling these and these are the caramel extract. This is the caramel flavor actually. And I've got two of these. And if you're interested, everything is in the in the the banner and in the description box. Um, the recipes for the cocoa will also be in the description box. They're, they're already in. I, I copied them and put them in this time. Okay, so, and then here's the maple ex extract. And um, my granddaughter and I had gone to, I guess it was, here it's Wawa's. And um, they made maple um, shakes. And I like them, so we're going to try one at home. And then, of course, this is the Watkins sprinkles. This is a chocolate sprinkle. So this is what I got so far. We are going to use Baker's chocolate. And this is 100% pure cocoa powder, natural and unsweetened. So I got to go get a bowl. So excuse me for one minute. Let me get everything. I should have had it up here, but I didn't. So be right back. Play nicely with one another. So after much playing around with it, I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm buying it all the time, the Swiss Miss and the other ones, and I'm realizing, yeah, I can make it. I got plenty of cocoa powder. So I decided that I would make it. So I am going to take in this bowl right here. Let me get the sugar down. And when he finishes his cooking, whenever that is. Not to be funny, but sometimes he just comes down when he knows I'm online and I'm doing things. Uh, he needs some friends. Besides just me. Okay, so. Anyway. And I did the recipes and stuff like that, so. This can be made into homemade hot chocolate and just basic chocolate so that when you want to put make frosting or something like that, you can do that as well. So we're going to put three cups, three and a half cups of sugar in this, okay? This is, I'm going to go get another sugar for my finger movie because, oh no, I got it. This is two cups. Okay. I had to figure out this one. I have glass ones up there.
Okay, so this is two cups. And I'm doing it down here because it's easy for me because it is, my legs are killing me today. So this is two cups. Now you need a half a cup. Okay, so, yeah, okay, I see where it is. So it's two and a half cups. Now, you need now that's three and a half. That's two and a half cups. I'm sorry. You need, more, you need three cups and three and a half cups. I'm sorry. So we need a cup and a half of more of this. Sorry about that. Miscalculated. I can do that. That's why I like doing this, but I don't like editing because you're going to see the mistakes that we made. So now we're going to take two and a half cups of the cocoa powder. This is the baker's. This is brand new. One cup. Yeah. So this is the other one I'm going to save for the syrup. Okay, now, you need a little bit of salt. So I'm taking this. Guess we got the salt. I'll be right back because you know i got to get something to spoon in there. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to mix this in. I'm going to sit down first. <clears throat> My knees are bothering me today. It is cold. It is damp. More cold than damp. More, more damp than cold, rather. Make sure that it's all blended in well together. Okay, so that seems like it's all blended well together. It's playing nicely with one another in here. Okay, so now we are going to put this in a jar. And I thought that we could put it in here, but I don't think that that's going to fit. So we'll put it in the other green one. We're going to get it right there. There's another green one right there. We'll put that in, and then we will get the tag and put it on there. Because I don't think that this is going to fit, so why bother? What do you need? Because there's mugs right there. Huh? There's mugs right there if you need a mug. A what? Mug. I your tea. Oh, okay. Okay. this up and I'm going to go get a tag for it over there in the drawer. Thank you. 
Now, if you want to add powdered milk in it, you can. Okay. Sure. Right there. This sugar right there in the packages. Oh, you think 19 of them things is short, sweet, and sugar for me. So I'm going to put the cocoa in first and then I'll write it. I'm going to do it very, very gingerly. Yeah, it wouldn't fit in that other jar. done. So I've got a whole bunch of cocoa mix. Put this cap on it. Put this over here. So it doesn't spill. So that's all we need. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put this over there for a minute. Because I'm going to have to, once he goes, I'll turn the wall around, turn the computer around and you can um, watch me cook the other one. Okay, so this right here, okay. Although my, my writing is not that, my spelling is good, my writing is bad because of the stroke, but I write anyway. Okay, so I'm going to write cocoa on here. on my little green jar right here and this is where the cocoa mix is so i'm going to cease and desist from buying the swiss miss and everything we we'll already have it already made and we can add to it what we want marshmallows So see how easy that was? And more than likely, especially if you bake, you probably got it around the house. So now, what I've done, is I have 
the Hershey's chocolate syrup thingy bottle. I'm going to get the get the the pan and everything and get ready to do the syrup now. Okay, so now let's make chocolate syrup. Okay, be right back. I'm going to put this in a. Telling my knee is aching. But I'm not, that's not going to stop me. Let's get a pan. Got myself a pan. All right. And I'm going to move you around in one second. right there. Okay, so let's move you around over here without much ado. Now, I have bottles, but So busy working on gifts and stuff like that. I'm feeling like this order, but I have not had time to go out and get them, so that's my Okay, can we see the stove? Pretty much. Let me make sure. Let me get the rest of the cocoa. Yeah, you can see. Hi there. Okay. All right, so we got two things, the cocoa and the sugar. I'm getting the sugar. Okay, so now this calls for six tablespoons of um, cocoa powder, two cups of sugar, three cups of water. Now let me just make sure because I have to write them. I have to write them down. Two cups of two cups of sugar, two cups of water. Sorry about that. So I'm going to put in the sugar first. We'll be on daytime. Sit this in. There. Just pour this in very gently. Pick up the sugar. Put 
with a sugar bath. So now we need Twelve tablespoons of um because I'm gonna double the recipe. So we need twelve tablespoons of um, chocolate. So that's easy enough. Twelve and a half, actually, tablespoons in here. Okay, we're gonna have two cups of water. Let's turn this on real low. Real low. Stir
still mixing it to make sure all the lumps are right. I want to get into a sort of a syrupy consistency. just a minimal amount of a boy. To a little bit of a boil. I'm not going to put it in there right away though. And like I said, the, the recipes are in the description box. I put them in there this time. I put the other ones in. Just a little bit thicker. So we'll give it a couple of minutes and then I'll show it to you. I'm not going to pour it in right there, although that those, those go in kind of hot from what I understand. I'm going to let it cool off just a little and then pour it in. But I'll let you see when it's done. The consistency of what it looks like.
So bring it to a slow boil. I'll take it off the stove. So comment when if you want me to make some other things because I know there's a bunch of things I want to make but I want to know what you want to make um, oh yeah and say hello to everybody No, it's not let me say hello. Okay, I got it down. doing I'm not gonna fool with it it's not letting me say hello so whatever so we came to a boil so I'm gonna let it go down just a little bit then I will let you see what it looks like then I'm gonna let it cool and tomorrow I'll show you I'll make some hot chocolate with it or some cold chocolate or whatever just give it a couple of minutes let me get it. So this is what it looks like. Can everybody see that now? That's what it looks like. I'm going to let it cool a little bit. Then I am going to um, put that in the Hershey container because I rinse it out so they think they're getting Hershey, but they're not. So, but my grand, my grand, my youngest grand, great granddaughter and I, we make that all the time. But she went home early tonight. I was alone with my thoughts. So yesterday, like I said, I'm sorry about that, but because I usually cook on Sunday, but I didn't. Well, first the church brought us over some food, which I didn't even ask for, but they did it anyway because they had a dinner and I gave them a don you know a monetary donation, but they sent me some food. So we do have ham. But um I really wasn't gonna cook anything, so after that because they bought us food for today and to yesterday and today so you know i shared some with my granddaughter and stuff like that it was a lot of food and they're really good cooks and then they bought us pound cake so we just like um we had we did the ham but that was about it tomorrow i'm going to the doctors so when i go to the doctors um i'm coming back and i'll do because i'm going to go to the dollar store and a couple of other stores so i'll do a review on that and then I'm cooking um, a duck tomorrow night. Okay. I was supposed to cook it yesterday, but I'm going to cook it tomorrow night. So um, I haven't cooked a duck in like years. And I don't do duck all around. I did duck with pineapple sauce, I believe. And like I said, that was 100 years ago. But my husband bought a duck. And I said, well, let's cook it. So I might even try like Peking duck or something like that. I have to look into my Chinese um, cookbooks and see what's happening and see if I can get something out of there because you know how that goes. But um, if anybody has any ideas, tell me because, you know, but I can look it up online or in one of my, in one of my cookbooks, believe me. So 
so it's crunch time. Okay, we have five more days. Well, actually, four now because today's well, everybody's probably out shopping, but today is Monday. Christmas is Saturday, so we've got four and a half more days till Christmas. And I'm done. I got a few other things, but I'll show you tomorrow when I do the review because I got my granddaughter and I couldn't do it today because they were here. Okay. And they're, well, the two, oh, the two middle grandchildren, they're, you know, she's 18 and her sister's 15. So, you know, they're chilled about Christmas, but the 12 year old and the eight year old are like trying to find out where I hid things and it's almost impossible. So when I go up, and I might actually let you come back on, come back on the night when I go upstairs and start to um, put things together for people. And now, guess what? My granddaughter decided to bring, well, they come over Wednesday because their father goes to school Wednesday night. So they're going to spend the night. So because we're going to do our Christmas Eve this Wednesday night because they um, stay with their father Christmas Eve through the afternoon sometime and then go to their mother for Christmas night till Sunday. So that's how they got to figure it out. I don't know how people figure it out, but they figure it out. So, and I know when I was married the first time, well, they never really went on Christmas I don't believe. I think they only went once. I don't know why they didn't go on Christmas. I, I, my son liked to be with me on Christmas. I know that much. But, you know, um, I don't remember whether they went when they were little or not. I really rather doubt it. I think they went one time. But theirs was usually in the summertime. And um, they didn't go all the holidays and stuff like that. That was what their father wanted, not me. But, you know. I mean, I was willing to try to make it as equal as possible, but he took them all summer, so except for the two weeks that they went to camp. I thought that camp would be very good for them, and it was. It taught them how to camp and everything like that. But anyway, um, my granddaughter is bringing her cousin to spend the night. So it's my two middle grandchildren and then my two great-grandchildren and their cousin. So I got to hope, which thank God, Again, I say, thank God that I keep little things around for her, you know, so I got to get a stocking when I go out to run. I got to write a list and I should probably write the list while I'm talking to you. But, you know, so I have to write a list of different things, for, you know, for her. So um, that's good. But um, I'm still trying to figure out why I can't write anything. I really don't know. Well, anyway, so I will make a list of everything that I need when I go to the store because I was going to go to the doctor's again Thursday, but when I um, go tomorrow, I'm going to cancel that appointment and go three days next next week because the kids will be here Wednesday night to Thursday. And even though my granddaughter is 18, I don't like to leave. I mean, they're pretty good kids and stuff like that, but kids will be kids. And I don't like to leave my granddaughter responsible for something that I'm supposed to be responsible for. So, you know, I mean, she does it, she will do it, but I don't want to do that to her. So I think I'll cancel. Plus I want to be with them anyway. So anyway, um, let me see. So I'm thinking um, that I will, you know, make my list and I got to do coupons with you and stuff. So I got a whole thing of coupons and I have to do those coupons with you. Anyway, I'm going to um, kind of wrap up now because I'm going to clean up a little bit, put the ham up and um, go to bed. And I have to really like kind of look for... Um, but I, if I do decide to do the presents tonight, which I have to, at least start tonight, 
out to have you back on again. Okay, and you can wrap presents with me. I don't wrap presents. I just put things together and put them in pretty bags. Okay, so I love you all. Um, take care. And God bless. Bye-bye. Stay safe. See you in the next video.